Welcome to Tabletop Island, I'm Bernard, your host, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, the Zeal Master kind of second Kickstarter run here. I actually wasn't a part of the first Kickstarter, um, but I did end up prior to this Kickstarter launching getting every exclusive that came in the original, so all I have here is the new stuff. So let's take a look and see what we got here. I thankfully took a little bit of a screwdriver and kind of scored the little edging here to make this box opening part easier for us so let's do that part here okay so we already see that they pack everything extremely well man look at that Whew. dang i love that so we got the Heroes Legendary Tommy Pack. Here, I'm actually gonna pull this out this way just to get my lighting to hit it a little bit better here. Let's kind of tip that there. Perfect. So we have the Legendary Tommy Oliver Pack. Man, I mean, you guys, a lot of you guys from the Kickstarter have probably seen all this. We got the Mega Goldar. Oh, that's so cool. I'm honestly excited to paint these. Um, Heroes of the Grid actually kind of started my painting hobby, uh, getting better, um, thanks to peeps online such as like, well I'm guessing this is something they may have left out. I don't remember hearing much about this. I'm sure you guys know more than I do since you guys probably kept up with it a lot better than I probably have. I'm sure that's my fault. Heroes of the Grid, the Zeo Ranger pack. Let's start with this one. Now, as funny as this is, here, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit here for you. Okay, so let's open this up here. Ah, oh, such a fan. But again, this actually did kind of start my painting hobby here a little bit. I initially hated it. On my YouTube channel you can see the video talking about how much I hated it and then switched up how much I love it now thanks to being able to paint these with awesome peeps online such as like Daddy Louie, stuff like that. They've really helped me. Um, my biggest issue was the simple fact that I didn't know what paints to use. Not that I couldn't eventually hone the skill to paint, which I'll which again, you'll see some of the paints that I've done. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with some of the ones I've done. Um, but Tommy Oliver is actually my favorite character. So this little pack is pretty sick. I wish I could be that guy that says, Ooh, I know this guy's name, but I don't know where all of these guys are from. I see we have Evil Green. Um, Ranger. Which is cool. Or it might not be the Bull Green Ranger. It might just actually be regular Green Ranger. See, I, I don't know how to tell. I do have an evil green, so it's probably just regular green. We have the White Ranger. It's my favorite Ranger because I'm basic. Um, we got the red one, which I don't know where he is from. Someone will, else will probably know. I have no idea what this is, but this dude looks boss. I really wanted you to see the quality of this guy. Look at these minis, bro. I don't know who this is though, and I'm sad that to say I'm I'm becoming a Power Rangers fan. Don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not like an official advocate um, because I don't know them all yet. White Ranger, though, look at that detail. It is a different sculpt than the one that I got in the exclusive pack, um, Kickstarter one exclusive pack. So there's that. Um, this is the guy. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Um, yeah, if you guys are bigger fans than me, which you probably are if you're watching this, you guys will probably know better than I will. But man, look at the detail, yo. Renegade Games straight killing it with the minis, yo. They just know. And then just to give you all that close-up look, because again, there isn't really much in these, when I come in these, so... I'll at least let y'all get a close-up of the mini since that seems to be the selling point for peeps. I mean, granted, this is actually a solid game, 
but I'm not going to talk like I really know. I've watched a lot. Oh, let me actually say I've watched almost every playthrough owned by Renegade Games because they stand by their games by doing constant playthroughs, which is super solid. Um, but I've yet to play this game myself. I'm a weirdo that needs them all painted. I am not caught up with the ones I need painted in order to do my review yet. So we'll get there. Um, but we're not here to talk about my channel per se. We're here to talk about this because this is what you guys want to see. Um, hence why you're watching this video. Maybe you don't want to see it. Maybe you just accidentally found it and you're like, yo, this guy's intro is awesome. I'm going to subscribe. Hint, hint. And hopefully, the style here isn't throwing you off on being able to see all of the details because you might not be able to appreciate it as much. But let's take a look at some of these cards here. And I want to make sure everything is crystal clear for you guys. So let's get in close up here. Look at these. Blade Blasters. This is Mighty Morphin Green. Ooh, see, it's telling me on the card. This is why you read your cards, folks. Mighty Morphin Green. Mighty Morphin White. I'm very familiar with these cards. Sabah Turbo Red. Ooh, it's Turbo Red. See, this is how you get the names when you don't know them. I'm excited to see that guy. I really had no idea. I knew this guy was a Red Ranger because obviously by color, but what is this dude? Dino Thunder Black. You know, I've heard a lot of great things about Dino Thunder, but I have not seen it. I'm very excited to get there, but yes, I'm watching them all in order because that's how I do, yo. Not trying to skip. Who is this? Evil Robot Tommy. Oh, that's the dude that's... So this is the dude with the spikes on. Oh, that's cool. Evil Robot Tommy. Well, that's sick. See, I don't know any of this stuff. Evil Robot Tommy. See, I'm learning stuff every day. So let's take a look at this. I'm sorry, I know this is a lot of stuff in here, so I expect this video to run quite long. Hopefully not too long for you guys. Dragon Zord. Mighty Morphin Green. White Tiger Zord. Eee, that's the boy. Lightning Cruiser. What, they did cars? Yo, what is with everything doing cars? Yu-Gi-Oh did racing. He really just had to hit him. Rakio Zord. I've heard a lot about this guy, especially in the live streams. He seemed to like him. They were scared to reveal him initially. Yo, there's the boy. I'm a fan of. Yeah, I'm like I said, I'm basic, so I like Tommy. So cool, man. This artwork, be killing it, yo. All right. Alright, let's do this Zeo, Zeo Ranger pack. Ooh, let's try to get this through. Do people find it satisfying in unboxings to watch them like rip this open? Because I find myself watching people struggle and it's very entertaining. And then you get that occasional guy that does that whole speed up. And it seems like the lame out, but I just want y'all to watch me struggle. It's almost as entertaining as watching what I reveal. Ooh, Zeo guys. See, these, I don't know which one they're in. Again, I just, um, on season, if I go by seasons, I think I finished season three. I'm on four now, I think. Um, but yeah, so let's stop plugging all that extra stuff. Let's show this minis, boy. Because I know that's what y'all care about. Ooh, let's start with 
to start with Kim, even though it's probably not Kim, because I don't know. Got my girl in focus, Pink Ranger. Keep wanting to call her Kim, even though I'm sure Kim don't play her no more. Ooh, that is so cool. Let me try to swap this since I'm already in that perfect zoom quality. You heard me? Ooh, look at red, yo. Dang, look at that sword. Let's take a look at that star. That's so nice. Man, this thing is heat. Oh, he is brutal. I love the stars on the faces. And you know what's funny? Uh, the more that I start to get out of Mighty Morphin Rangers, um, in terms of like the minis and stuff, the more I start to realize that like, these are gonna be so much easier to paint. Like those diamonds on the regular ones were so hard. And I'm looking at literally everything that follows it is getting a thousand times easier. I'm very excited to be painting these cause I'm probably gonna breeze through these like a madman. Felt like I didn't get a good enough close up here. Let's take a look at that girl. Mm. Heat. Let's bring out the green cause I do like green. Look at that boy. I like the like little details here. I don't know if they come out as different colors or it's like a solid sheet of like gold or whatever the color is. Sorry, I don't actually know what all these guys look like painted yet because I haven't painted them. Now let's get the other homie out here. Hey. Let's look at that. Yo, the detail's sick, bruh. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. Now let's unwrap these cards and get some close-ups. Let's go. And by the way, do y'all like it when I do unboxings for the people that are already subscribed to the channel? Is this something y'all enjoy? I know some of you guys have voiced it, specifically for vintage games, because that's kind of what, what I do, is the vintage ones. But what about these? Do you guys enjoy it? All right, let's get it. Dancer Grace. This is Zeo Ranger Pink. Ooh. She dancing. Disc throw. Now, y'all honestly don't have to be Power Ranger fans either to get to like like this game. I'm gonna be straight up with you as a cooperative game. The game design's really simplistic, really clean, and there's a lot of complexities with a lot of the different villains, how each different ranger interacts with each other. Um, so I know there's a lot of people on the fence for a cooperative game. Obviously, if you want the most difficult game there is, Ghost Stories, I'll talk about it a million ways to Sunday, and I honestly have yet to review it, because I don't know what I'm doing with that game yet. Zeo Ranger Blue. Y'all just breeze through yellow without saying Zeo Ranger Yellow. This is too yellow. Okay, alright. Zeo Ranger Blue. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, in terms of cooperative games, the... The game's extremely clean, and again, the minis are amazing. I do, however, don't think I would enjoy playing the game if my stuff wasn't painted. But that's just me being extra. I also don't think you need to be a good painter to paint your minis, because I think even just some average, looks like a dollar store toy paint is fine, because it's better than it's just solid color because it's gonna be far away on the table. They're not gonna notice all that. So I definitely don't think that should like deter you from painting them. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought mine were gonna look crappy. And then I listened to somebody basically just straight up tell me what I just told you, that yo, it's fine. It's literally better than not having them painted at all, right? I mean, granted painting is expensive, but like maybe check out your local game shop. Maybe they do like certain days where they'll allow you to use their paints because I know a lot of game shops that do that. Maybe yours doesn't. Maybe you want to try to start something like that. Link up with people that are at your game shops that already paint. I'm sure they'll know somebody that's local that paints. Maybe they even paint for commission. But maybe they'll like let you use some of their paints and stuff. You know. The painting community is a lot nicer than you'd imagine. Because they helped me a lot. Because I thought I was trash. But 
I ended up painting them really well, and I'm very happy I did. Um, but again, it, it didn't have to be perfect for me to be happy with it, you know what I mean? Just any amount of paint on it. It was my biggest struggle was finding out what colors to use. But this community is so solid, especially on Facebook. If you guys are interested more into the depths of this game and like the community, check out the Facebook group. That's probably one of the best communities I've ever joined board game related. Probably even just most things related to be honest with you just because the community is so tight they're so willing to assist and uh, it's just great they ask questions they're treated as if even if they ask the same question a million times which does happen i know but it's fine um but yeah definitely check out the facebook i'll leave it a link in the description for sure because i think you guys should check them out let's move on to the one that i believe is a kickstarter exclusive say what the Zeo Rain, Zeo Gold character pack. I believe he's the exclusive one, right? I could just be wrong. Something in here is exclusive, guys. You guys will know better than me because you're watching this. And if not, you're going to look it up on the original Kickstarter page and be like, Yo, bro, that was the exclusive. I should probably know this. But I had waited so long for this and... I'm sorry, I literally back a lot of Kickstarters. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't hate me. But yes, I back a lot of Kickstarters. Ooh, kill him. Love that, dude, yo. This guy looks boss. And someone on the Facebook group channel, like, already painted it. And when I saw him, his painting, not only did it look amazing, but it looked amazing because he's simple. You don't have a lot of detail. That need, I mean, there's details all in the mini. His paint job was simple because the mini is simple. Ah, oh, so great. That literally made me the happiest person ever because when I realized how many different areas you needed to paint and that wasn't that many, I was super happy. Let's get a close up of this. Yo, look at the Zeo Ranger go. Oh man, look at the detail. Bruh, the details on the mini though. Let me tell you the painting, so simple. A little bit of gold here, a lot of it's black, white shoes. I'm looking at this, when I saw that dude paint it, it looked amazing, but its simplicity made it amazing, because the Mighty Morphins were hard, them diamonds on the shoes were a pain in the butt. But you don't have to worry about that, it's a lot of, oh, I'm so happy about that. Y'all just do not understand, painting those diamonds stress me out. Oh, I remember this is exclusive. I can tell you that off the top. So this whole thing might actually be exclusive because I know these are exclusive. Oh, look at these, bro. I love dice. Let me get a close up of these dice. Now, if y'all know me, I love dice and games. Some of the best dice I've ever seen in a board game. Just the feel. Oh, just so great. I love them. All right, let's take a look at some of these cards. Again, I'm trying to breeze through them to show you the artwork. If y'all need to know what all the cards do, go to the Facebook group. They talk about this kind of stuff. If you can slow it down and read it, then that's great. I'm happy. But I'm not gonna... Straight up read it for you. Because, again, I really want y'all... Yo, it's kind of holographic a little bit. Dang. Yo, I know they're not about to try to hit us with hollows in the pictures, though. You know people have spent money for some hollows. It should be Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! all over again. Oh, uh, run! Yeah, these cards look tight. I hear this guy is what a lot of people's favorite ranger is, um, in that community at least. But, like, do y'all watch this stuff? Or you guys watch Power Rangers? I'm sure maybe if you're watching this, you do. What do y'all think? Do y'all, what, what's your favorite ranger? I definitely want to hear, because actually, um, when the Facebook group was initially asking about blue rangers, they were like, you can't use Ninjor, and then later they revealed they did Ninjor, which I'm so excited. Um, but I'm only excited because I just saw him on the show, and I'm like, oh, his voice is hilarious. Um, kind of sounds like Bane, but yeah. Uh, so, um, there's one on there, I believe he was the blue centurion, was his name, and I was like, yo, that dude looks boss. So that's kind of who I'm hoping for at some point. Jason Scott. Ooh. And Trey of Triforia. Heart of Gold. 
Ooh, looks like you got choices. Again, I believe a lot of this is exclusive, so I, I definitely want to throw that out initially. I know the dice are, um, but I want to say this whole character is. Again, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but take a look at the Kickstarter page. Again, if this is a game that interests you or you want to learn more about it, join the Facebook group. I'll eventually be doing a review of this game. Oh, that's kind of a slow process running here. Let me throw the bag in because I don't really care. Because the dice aren't going to stay in here very long. Um, but yeah, if, if you guys are uh, interested, I will be doing a review slash commercial. I have a really big um, commercial plan for this. Um, some pretty cool special guests. I don't even want to tell y'all stuff yet because it's crazy. But yeah, we're getting there. All right, let's move on to the last one. Mega Goldar. All right, sorry. Uh, Goldar is probably one of the silliest villains, just a regular. Mega Goldar, I mean, I guess I saw him get larger. Is that really what they count as Mega? Or is there an episode where he like just straight up says, I'm Mega Goldar. Because I've definitely seen him get large mad times. And it seems like every freaking villain seems to get large. They're like, yo, they're not eating the Power Rangers. And Rita Revolta and Lord Zed just put their wands together. And they're like, make them large. And then they're like, oh no, we need a result of the Megazord. Every episode. <sighs> every episode. But that, that's my rant for Power Rangers. Um, but yeah, I... Yeah, let me know if you guys are a big fan of Power Rangers. Um, has he like come out as like, yo, I'm Mega Goldar. Maybe I saw that episode and I just forgot. Maybe. Or maybe I just didn't hear that part. But look at that, yo. I know people aren't trying to tell me that ain't the five pieces of Exodia. Rip off. It's like, man. That's so tight, though. He foams. It's so cool. I can't wait to see it. Let me stop showing you pictures and start showing you the real thing. Dang! He's bigger than I thought. I just watched a playthrough. Or a, a paint through. I'm tripping. It's a kind of a paint session. Live. I didn't realize how big this guy was. Hold up. Let me get closer. Yo, look at how gigantic this mini is. Yo, is this... I mean, I don't have the um, Megazord in front of me. Is he bigger than the Megazord? Y'all, the details are crazy. I know this guy's going to be a pain to pain. Because I was kind of dreading the original Goldar, because I saw others and I was like, dang, I want mine to be nice. And then I looked at it again. Goldar actually doesn't look that hard to paint. But this looks a little crazy. The um, Megazord, as easy as it was to paint, it was extremely tiring and I could not do it all in one sitting even though I really wanted to. Um, let me bring this up. The sword though. The sword goes in his hand. Mm. Alright. Let's put the sword back. Alright. Well, away you go, Goldar. Let's pull out your cards. Man, this card is pack is light. Which means it's about to end this video. No. All right, so first off, let's get a close up. Think say, that thing say boss, cause Mega Goldar is boss. Ooh, look, and it's fast. So fast means that he gets to interact before um, the Rangers do. In most cases, there's abilities that can change this. You can learn by playing the game or watching some playthroughs. Again, check out Renegade Games YouTube channel. They do playthroughs, it seems, weekly. They do a lot. You can get an idea on how the game plays. and Their enthusiasm for the game makes me love the game even more. Ah, but again, I'm a big fan of needing to paint them, which is why I haven't really gotten it to the table. But I've watched so many playthroughs, I'm pretty confident. And I've read all the rules and stuff from all the Facebook groups to see what people are having trouble with. And I've learned a lot. Um, but the community is fantastic. Again, I do recommend taking a look at this. If you're looking for a cooperative game, I understand you don't have to be a Power Rangers fan. And honestly, you might not realize you're a Power Rangers fan. Because I grew up playing with these toys. I watched the show again. And it's a lot more complex than I thought it was. Or remembered it being. First off, it starts off with Rita Repulsa, who uses a guy um, to make villains out of clay for her to defeat the Power Rangers. So this clay goes into a machine and creates these 
creatures, which are very wacky and fun, but it's, the concepts evolve so well. I actually am quite a big fan of the show now, um, but I do think the game is solid. It really grabs the essence of Power Rangers. Ah, I'm a fan. Oh, and I felt bad. I didn't really get to show off this. Um, Red Battles. See a Ranger view. Red. I guess maybe they forgot it. Maybe there's one in there that's misprint. Hmm, who knows? I don't know. You tell me. Cool. Um, but that's honestly all I have for you guys today. Again, if you like unboxings on this channel, uh, let me know. Let me know the type of stuff you like. I don't like doing new games very often unless it's something that just came out. And I feel like I can get some clout by doing it. But um, in, in, in most cases, it'll just be vintage games because I do appreciate those. Uh, I, I understand those a lot more and I, I, I very much like vintage games. Um, but again, that's all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with yo guys' help, I have been doing so. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Fridays, my vintage board game reviews. But that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.